everyone, welcome to Pop and Pan Percussion. We're Tameside Music Service, my name is Matt. We're doing Tameside Music Service at home at the moment. There's daily content for you to get involved with. There's something for everyone. Every Friday at 2 p.m. we're going to be doing this, Pot and Pan Percussion. This is something for everybody to get involved with, whether you are a musician or not, whether you think you're musical or not, if you're a drummer or whether you're, you play a different instrument, you can get involved and I'm going to show you how. You might have a drum kit or some percussion instruments uh, at home, you might want to use those. If you don't have any instruments or you don't have anything that you can, uh, you can get your hands on, you can use pots and pans. That's exactly why we've called it pot and pan percussion. Go and grab some pots and pans from the kitchen. Tupperware boxes work really, really well. So you can grab one of those. Some spatulas from the kitchen work great as drumsticks. And if you're feeling crafty, you can try making some of your own instruments. I took a Pringles packet, put some tape on it, put some rice inside it as well. And I've got myself a great shaker. So see what you can find. If you don't want to make any instruments or you don't have any instruments, you can sit back, relax and use some body percussion. You can tap your knees, click your fingers, clap your hands, stamp your feet. However you want to get involved, this is something for everyone. So gather the whole family around and uh, we're going to get into some pot and pan percussion. Let's go. In this week's session, we are going to be starting to learn some basic drum rudiments, some patterns that are the building blocks of drumming so that you can get started on those. We're going to do a little bit of rhythm notation uh, and carry on with building on our knowledge of that. We are going to start learning how to play the drum kit. Even if you don't have a drum kit at home, you're going to be able to play the drums. Uh, if you keep watching this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, and we're also going to start to learn a new samba piece of music that you guys can play at home, that you can get some people together, uh, put some rhythms together and have some fun with it. So uh, let's go. OK, our first drum rudiment that we are going to learn is called single strokes, single strokes. Uh, a stroke is where we hit a drum, just another word for hitting the drum. Rudiments are really important. If you're playing the piano or a guitar or you're singing, you might practice your scales, but drummers practice rudiments. They're different patterns, what we call sticking patterns, uh, that help us to be able to play the drums, play music, and, uh, and get our hands moving and get warmed up. So the first one we're going to play is single strokes. Single strokes means, single means one. So we're going to play one stroke with each hand. It's going to go right, left, right, left. If you're left-handed, start with your left, left, right, left, right. Totally up to you. Okay, let's try this with me. We're going to start with that right hand. Here we go. One, two, on your knees like this that works really really well you can still practice your single strokes this time we're gonna get them going a little bit faster so we're gonna start nice and slow a little bit quicker and then a little bit faster at the end see if you can keep up here we go ready one two off we go right. <laughs> to move ready to go so we've, uh, we've played those and um, if you want to go back and uh, you can rewind that video and practice that little bit again if you still feel like you want to warm up but those are our single strokes okay we're going to add to our rhythm notation today that we started last week um, we learned about ants and spiders last time so you can see this note here ant this one spider two sounds with that one remember those two notes that we uh, learned last time We've got a new pattern that we're going to learn today. We're going to add this one. Can you see how many dots we've got on there? Four dots. That means four sounds. We're going to call this one caterpillar. All right, four sounds, caterpillar. Give that a try with me. After four, one, two, three, four, caterpillar. There you go. Easy, right? 
Try it a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, caterpillar. And again, one, two, three, four, caterpillar. Good job. So you can say that in your head and just clap it like this. One, two, three, four. Like that, there we go. And we've got the sound. Uh, let's see how they sound next to ants, spiders, uh, and also the rest as well. We'll uh, remember that one in a second. Let's look at this first top line up here. We've got ant, spider, caterpillar, ant. See how that works if you put it all together? Ant, spider, caterpillar, ant. Should we try it? Should we give it a go? We can clap it and, and say it as well. Ready? One, two, three, four. Ant, spider, caterpillar, ant. See how that those uh, patterns work together? Let's try one more time. One, two, three, four. Ant, spider, caterpillar, ant. Good job. Okay, let's try that bottom line now. Let's try this one from here. We're going to start with caterpillar, spider, spider, Ant. Yeah? Now we've said it, let's see if we can clap it as well. Ready? One, two, three, four. Caterpillar, spider, spider, ant. Good job. One more time. One, two, three, four. Caterpillar, spider, spider, ant. Awesome. Good job. Okay. Let's see if we can find some different patterns. I'm going to scroll across to the rest that we had as well. Remember this one from last time we did this? Rest. So a rest means no sound, no claps. We're just going to do this in, instead, okay? So here we've got ant, rest, caterpillar, ant. Like that. Ant, rest, caterpillar, ant. Try it with me. Ready? One, two, three, four. Ant, rest, caterpillar, ant. Good job. Try one more time. One, two, three, four. Ant, Rest, caterpillar, ant. Awesome, let's try one more. Couple more rhythms there. Let's try this bottom one here. We've got two caterpillars together. Uh, so eight notes all together and we clap those all the way through. Caterpillar, caterpillar, spider, ant. Ready, let's try this bottom line. Ready, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Caterpillar, caterpillar, spider, ant. Good job, try one more time. One, two, three, four. Caterpillar, caterpillar, spider, ant. Really good, good job. So we've learned ant, spider, caterpillar, and rest as well. Uh, we're gonna build on that next week, uh, but let's leave that there for now. Good job, everyone. Okay, the drum kit. I've got a small drum kit here, but I'll go through the different parts of it so you know which bits we're using uh, and what we're gonna be playing. We've got a bass drum down here, or a kick drum, as I like to call it, because I'm going to use my right foot to play that one like this. And that's got a nice deep sound, that's why we call it the bass drum. This one in front of me, this is a snare drum. A snare drum, it sounds a little bit like a marching drum. And that nice buzzy tone you get is from those snare wires that we have underneath the drum, which resonate against the, the bottom head of the drum. So that's a snare drum. Then we've got, over here, we've got a hi-hat, or set of hi-hat cymbals. There's two cymbals on top of each other. On my stand, uh, I control them by using my left foot. Or by using my sticks. loads of sounds out of those. I can play them open or I can play them closed. Loads of different ways. It's really good. So we put all these bits together to create some drum beats. But you might be thinking, I haven't got a drum kit at home. So how can I play the drums? Well, I'm going to show you how to set up a drum kit using some things you might have around the house. So I've got a couple of dining chairs. So I'm sat on one. I'm going to use my other dining chair as a, a drum kit. Uh, whatever chair you've got or surface that you can set this kind of thing up on is fine. I've put a pillow down here. That's going to be my snare drum. I've put a, a tea towel over the top just to stop it from damaging the chair. And that's my hi-hat up here. So I've got my snare and my hi-hat. Um, down below here, I've got uh, just a hard surface, um, a placemat or a book or something like that. I've got my shoes on. So hopefully when I'm tapping my foot on the floor there, 
there you go, you can hear my bass drum. Now you might have a hard floor at home, I've got a carpet, so it doesn't sound very loud. So I just wanna be able to hear a nice thud with my foot uh, to let me know that my bass drum's playing and everything's in time. So uh, there we go, we've got our drum kit. Uh, you might wanna use, uh, I think I mentioned already, maybe some spatulas from the kitchen or something like that. Um, don't have to use sticks if you don't want to. Uh, also, if you don't really fancy setting any of this, any of this stuff up, uh, you might just wanna use your knees, your hands, and you can tap your foot on the floor and there's your drum kit. So you can play like that, using your, uh, just using you, yourself. Uh, and that's all good, you can do that as well if you like. So uh, this is something we can all do, we can all get involved with. We're gonna learn a basic drum beat along with the song, Do I Wanna Know by the Arctic Monkeys, which is a great song to start playing drums to. It's very, very steady, tempo's nice and slow, uh, but it's a really strong pulse. So let's have a bit of a listen and see how it sounds. See if you can feel the pulse. Okay, right, I think we got the idea with that one. So, nice and steady, really good song uh, to start playing drums to. So here's what we're gonna do. The hi-hat up here is gonna play four hits. One, two, three, four. Try that with me, ready? One, two, three, four. Easy, right? Now that's gonna carry on going. So the whole thing with a drum beat is that we, we sort of loop it, we repeat it, and it turns into a continuous flow uh, that a band could play on top of, that guitarists could play their riffs and singers could do their thing uh, over the top of. So let's play uh, our high hand part and let's just keep it going. Try it with me. Here we go. One, two, off we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Have that counting in your head. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and stop. Great. So not too tricky, but we just need to keep that really, really steady. Now, I mentioned one, two, three, four. Those numbers are the beats that we're playing on, and those are really important. So our snare drum is going to play on beats two and four. Two and four, okay? So if we try and put those together, a little bit of coordination now, let's have a go. Let's slow it down a little bit. We can try it really slowly with me if you like. We're going to go one, two, three, four. See how that works? So it's hi-hat together, hi-hat together, like that. Should we try it? Here we go. Let's give it a practice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and stop. Cool, good job, not too tricky. Uh, it might take a minute to get that though, so take some time with it. Uh, you can pause the video here if you like and just have a little bit of a practice and uh, just see what, you, uh, see what you think of that, try and get into it. Eventually it'll become muscle memory, so the more you do it, the easier it gets. As we, when we practice anything on any instrument or anything that we're doing, we're gonna get better at it the more time we give to it. So if it doesn't happen straight away, don't get too frustrated, just have a go. Uh, and even when you're not at your, your drum kit or your makeshift drum kit, you can practice like that. So practice the same thing, same motions, that's really good practice as well. Okay. The bass drum, that's going to play on beats one and three. One and three. So that's the opposite of the snare, which is on two and four. So uh, that's going to go like this. Have a look at how I'm going to put that together. I'll do it really slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See how that works? So the pattern is hi-hat and kick drum at the same time. Then it's hi-hat and snare drum at the same time. And those are the two bits of the pattern. We just go backwards and forwards, kick, snare, kick, snare, with the hi-hat playing all the time, okay? Let's give it a try, nice and steady. Again, uh, once we've practiced this, you might wanna take some time just to let it sink in, uh, let that pattern become easier. The more you do it, the easier it's gonna get. Here we go, let's give it a try. One, two, three, four.
There we go. And that's our basic drum beat that's going to work actually with a lot of different songs. But let's try it with Do I Want to Know, the Arctic Monkeys tune. Here we go. After four. One, two, three, four. Have you got colour in your cheeks? Did you ever get that feeling that you can shift the tide that sticks around like so much in your seat? Oh, there's some pieces up your sleeve. Have you no idea that you're in deep? I dreamt about you nearly every night this week. How many secrets can you keep? Cause there's this tune I found. Okay, good job. I hope you found that okay. Take some time to practice it. It's going to take a little bit of time to get into the rhythm, into the motions of getting those things in the right place and getting the coordination right. Uh, but take some time with it. It's loads of fun. Uh, play along with the music as well so you can find that song on YouTube or wherever you want to go and uh, wherever you stream your music from. Um, find some other songs that goes with as well. Have a bit of a listen and see if there's anything else you can play that rhythm uh, along with. All right, good job, everyone. Okay, this samba tune that we're going to learn today is called Fish and Chip Samba. You might know this one if you played samba with TMS at school. Uh, you may have come across this rhythm somewhere else, but it's a really, really fun one. Really, really like it. Here is the, uh, the main rhythm for this one. It goes like this. Fish and chips, sausage and chips. 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 Can you clap it with me? Here we go. Fish and chips, sausage and chips. 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 Good job, really good. I think we've got that rhythm, getting that into our heads. Really, really good. Okay, here's how we're going to break that rhythm up on our different instruments. If you have a Tupperware that goes really nicely with my kick drum, that nice low pitch, Okay, you guys are going to play fish and, miss out the word chips, sausage and, fish and, sausage and, fish and, sausage and. Give it a go. Fish and, sausage and. Really, really good. Okay, have a little practice of that rhythm if you need to. If you are on a pot or pan, you are going to play the word chips, fish and, sausage and, fish and, Sausage and fish and sausage and fish and sausage and. Okay. If you are on a shaker, I've got my homemade Pringle packet shaker with some rice in it and some tape over the top. Uh, you're going to keep the pulse. We were talking about that last week. Really important. It's going to go like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if you've got a shaker instrument, if it's shaped a bit like this, uh, you're going to want to hold it long ways like that. If it's a maraca, you can just hold the handle and give it a shake or a tambourine. You can just give that a shake. Do the same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you're feeling fancy and you've got two pots and pans of different sizes, uh, anyone know what happens when you have a, a big pan and a small pan or a big, bigger instrument and a smaller instrument? How does the sound change? One of them has a lower pitch, the bigger one generally has a lower pitch and the small one will have a higher pitch. So let's see how these pots sound if I play them with my sticks. Whoa. Nice, so I can play fish and on the low, uh, sausage and on the low one and chips on the high one. So if you're feeling fancy, you can do that on a, a set of pans if you like. Okay. That's how all these rhythms go together. I think we're ready to go. Should we give it a play through and see if we can layer up those rhythms? Here we go. Okay, we're going to give Fish and Chip Samba a play through. So we're going to get the shakers going first. If you've got a shaker with you, here we go. Keeping the pulse like this. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep it going. 
nice and steady. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three. Let's bring that bass drum in. Fish and sausage and fish and sausage and fish and sausage and fish and. And what about the uh, the other bit? Fish and chips, sausage and chips. Nice. coming together and you can see how those rhythms are fitting together and uh, we're creating a groove all together as a band which is awesome it's the best thing about music i love it okay uh, we've got a little bit of call and response in this one as well i'm gonna play this rhythm i want the chips i want the chips i want the chips and you play now on your instrument just one hit think of it as an ant if you like or just now like that now good job We've got a signal to go back into the main groove, the fish and chips, sausage and chips. We've got a signal to go back into that. The signal is, what do you want for your yummy tea today? And we go, fish and chips, sausage and chips, fish and chips. You get the idea? So if I play, what do you want for your yummy tea today? Fish and chips, sausage and chips, fish and chips, sausage and stuff. Okay, we get the idea. I'm going to get my shaker ready to go as well. Let's try that whole bit from I Want the Chips. Ready? So I'll go first. Here we go. I want the chips. together with all the different parts and it all sounds really really great if you want to have a practice at that feel free to re rewind through the video you can have a bit of a look uh, a, a practice at that you can play it as many times as you like have some fun with it good job everyone you did great well done well thanks for joining in with this week's pot and pan percussion hopefully you've had fun you've enjoyed it you can look back at the video uh, feel free to practice play through some of those tunes and rhythms again and have plenty of fun with it We'd love to see some of the ways that you guys are engaging with TMS at home. So feel free to send over any videos or pictures that you've got of how you've been getting involved. You can send those to service at tameside.gov.uk. Uh, if the files are quite big, you can use wetransfer.com, which is a really great way of sharing bigger files. Okay, we hope you've enjoyed it today. Thanks for joining again. Next week, Friday at 2pm, we'll have more Pot and Pan Percussion. I'll see you then.